Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all. What's going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any, and what do you need to know? So whenever you do see this, it will be the right time. As always, take what resonates and leave out the rest and practice using your own discernment. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. And... If you're interested in a personal reading, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all. All right. Delays, delays. Delays are passing. I'm, I'm feeling like something has been kind of stuck because somebody needed to do some some shadow work some inner work okay i feel like there's something that you've been wanting to go after but you were going back and forth with whether or not you should um because it feels like um it was kind of out of your comfort zone or something you've never done before something completely different and Something about it feels like unusual. <laughs> I am seeing an unexpected um, message coming in though. So something unexpected and it feels very unusual. Like, like for example, I'm seeing you're seeing a side to someone that you haven't seen before. <laughs> and it's like, what just happened? Where is this coming from? Like what what is this <laughs> because yeah and i honestly for some of you somebody's may message you and they've been building the liquid courage to message you and tell you how they feel or to talk to you i feel like somebody may send you like a drunk text or drunk call <laughs> honestly but I do feel like there's been some chaotic energy here where there's certain things that somebody would do that would kind of annoy you. Um, you were trying to be heard or seen in a situation where there was other situ other people or options involved. I am seeing third party and seven of cups reverse. So I kind of feel like there's something that you came to like clarity about and it kind of burst your bubble. And you've been viewing somebody as I'm hearing unresponsive since, or, or they didn't have an answer for you. Someone is coming in very out of the blue. Like the, the floor is going to be shaking <laughs> is how I'm feeling about this person. I just had like a gust of wind pass by my face. Like this person is coming in on a mission out of the blue, ready to speak their truth, ready to talk, ready to give you a proper answer. And it's going to catch you by surprise. I'm not going to lie. But I kind of see you viewing a situation like you're just not going to give um, in. You're not going to give in. It's like, I'm not going to give in to this situation. I'm not going to give in to this person. It's like you've been down this road before. You're overcoming heartbreak. It's just like you're you're kind of over with the BS. You're over it. You're done. You you've been looking back and you've been evaluating a situation, seeing what's working, what's not working. It's like you're coming to this clarity. You're making a decision and you're moving forward. No longer doing everything that it takes. No longer putting all of the effort into a situation because somebody's been avoiding or just avoiding you in general, and then all of a sudden. They come in with like a love bomb is literally what I'm feeling. King of Cups energy. Yeah. Somebody's been hiding their feelings. 
Someone's been keeping their feelings hidden for a while. And you may have been getting signs through music or someone who you connect with through music. I'm seeing maybe even someone's at a distance or you've been just deciding to distance yourself from this situation because there's more than one person involved and in surrendering to a, a new beginning, releasing, letting go of a toxic connection. It's like you're just viewing someone now as just being toxic and just being uh, full of BS. <laughs> and it's this level of awareness that you're coming to where you're just like over it. I just feel that you're over it. This person, they're, they're looking like, um, or what they're giving you is a lot of emotion out of nowhere because you've been seeing them as emotionally unavailable for a while and then all of a sudden it's like this person's like all of a sudden I want to marry you um I want to see you I want I want us to be in a relationship or I want to give you this offer all of a sudden it's like where the heck did this come from They weren't able to move on from you. They're waiting for you to make a judgment or they're going to they're going to wait for you to make a judgment. So the power is going to be in your hands. Magician and judgment. The power is going to be in your hands about whether or not you want to give this a chance, whether or not you see this going anywhere. They're going to wait for you to give them an answer. Basically, I do feel like this person's wanting to come around and make something right and make a, a commitment this time around. Um, with this Nine of Cups, it feels like they're kind of viewing you now as their wish fulfillment, what they want. And they feel like you're the one piece that's missing in their life. And intuitively, I'm seeing intuition. This person is wanting to um, or feeling like guided to come towards you. I'm seeing toxic connection. Somebody is realizing that they were involved with the wrong person or they chose wrong an affair. Yeah. This person is unhappy in their current situation. And now they're realizing that you've been real the whole time, the whole way you've been yourself and you've been honest and true. And now they're realizing that like they effed up basically and they feel like you have all the power to reject them. I, I, I feel like this person wouldn't even be mad if you rejected them. Like they would understand if you didn't want them because I feel like they, they put you in this situation. They put you in this situation and it wasn't fair to you. But now they're coming to the, a realization. I feel like they've sat in their emotions and evaluated, reflected on what they really want, how they feel between you and another situation. And now they they're, they're feeling intuitively guided to take things forward to that next step with you. So it feels like they've been kind of doing shadow work. And that's why things have been stagnant. Somebody needed to do shadow work. This is going to be very unexpected. Someone's coming in strong with that strength there. Wanting to um, have a reconciliation with you. So feelings are about to come to light. Unexpectedly. Because I feel like you just stopped trying. Or you've just released this person. What else? Starting over. Yeah, somebody wants to start over with you. Miracles. It's going to feel like a miracle. Like, how the heck did this even happen? <laughs> Maybe you're this divine feminine or dealing with one. Okay. 3D world. Um, we did see distance earlier, so this could be another confirmation that there's distance. A lot of people are dealing with people at a distance, I've noticed. 
Um, so three of coins in the outcome is showing me that there is a possibility that this could work out. There is a possibility that this could work out, but be very mindful about whether or not this is your story, okay? Because there, it is not impossible for somebody to change for the right person. If they've really done the shadow work, but keep in mind that does that doesn't happen overnight, okay? It is a long-term thing and people have to continuously work on it and somebody needs to continuously show you through their actions. If not, you just work on yourself. You 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 fill your own cup, you work on you. Some of you um, are going to end up just focusing on your work situation, building something for yourself, starting over in life, moving, um, doing something completely new and different, taking care of yourself, okay? The fool reversed. It's like afraid to take a risk. So I do see you being a, a little afraid to take a risk with someone. Some of you are just going to end up um, focusing on you or allowing someone to put in the work to actually show you if they're really serious. But something about this conversation is interesting because with the Seven of Swords, it's like they're not laying out all of their cards on the table. It feels very strategic about like how they explain something to you. So keep that in mind. But a, Hidden Feelings and Seven of Swords, this is also someone who is just simply hiding their feelings for you. And then all of a sudden, unexpectedly, someone just expresses it. I see you stepping into your power and creating changes with your home life, your surroundings, your environment. I see you moving towards a different environment or changing your, your surroundings. Ace of Wands. Something is about to be lit on fire here. Someone's about to take action and I feel like you're about to take action towards uh, I'm hearing renovations renovations and this is also someone coming towards you wanting to re-spark something with you I'm seeing the number two one three eight the letters s w i t p h f u so those numbers could be birthdays, the letters could be in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. This is what I'm picking up. If it resonated, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.